Hello beautiful spirits. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. We're here for a Scorpio love reading Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you've arrived here. So let's look at the overall energy of your love reading at this time. Great and full. You are filled with love. You have so much love in your life and you're experiencing a great deal of gratitude for that love love of all sorts friendship family babies you know of the family of co-workers but you as you walk through life right now you're in a very good place and happy birthday to those scorpios um who are watching bearing fruit you definitely are headed in a direction with the attitude of gratitude of really um, coming close to your goals you know we have the butterfly spirit and it's interesting because it's like in a cage and you don't want to be in a cage but your goals are very specific and they're very stable so you feel as though you would like to be in a committed relationship and close the door on this sort of dating that you've been doing for those of you who are um, you know just coming into relationship at this time when we look at the energy of the Libra Queen, you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You want to be balanced. You want to be loving. Temperance says that you need to make peace with something. Temperance can be a person. It can be a relationship. It can be a past situationship. But right now, what we see is that you may want to renegotiate or reconcile an actual relationship with someone from the past, or you need to do the internal healing work of that relationship. The strength card in the recent past between you and your person, fire in your belly, Leo, energy, there's passion, there's pride, there's courage, there's dedication. But the two of coins says that you have not exclusively chosen each other in the recent past. The two of coins is keeping your options open or at least juggling more than one. The energy here, why do we have the two of coins? Why are the two of you still open to other people? The three of wands. Okay, so you haven't made the full the full choice yet. The three of wands is that you will clarify this by choosing each other. Both of you know it, but you have not taken any formal action to move forward, but you should in the next six weeks, okay? So that should become something that is feeling more comfortable in the near future. Now, the moon card speaks to the fact it's Pisces energy that you are uncomfortable, that the movement of swords says that both of you have something to talk about. There's something very real that is really not clear. That's smoky trails, not really knowing what's going on you know, really, but needing to speak the truth very honestly with each other. Both of you are keeping to yourself the High Priestess card. So not really speaking, being very aware, being very attentive, Cancerian energy. And we have it right here in terms of your person and how they see things going is intuitively they feel as though they need to step up and take a leadership role with the spirit of Pentacles, king of Pentacles energy. So why are you so uncertain? Why is this high priestess, Matt, you know, thinking about the moon card? What is going on here? The heart of swords. So the queen of swords energy appears again. Both of you have your hearts locked in a little cage. You're trying to be very logical, methodical. You're trying to vet each other. You're trying to actually ask intellectual questions about how successful you can be with a particular person for whom you've come to ask about. So it speaks very loudly that you know to the fact that you want something of quality. Why is the why does your person see the way forward as being the king of pentacles why do they feel as though they have to bring financial stability okay oh this is a heart of pentacles sorry this is the queen of pentacles so that's a mommy card and it is clarified by the daddy card your person feels as though they have unique authority in the relationship to bring leadership through love and nurturance i like that that's powerful energy when we get the queen and king of pentacles they are unstoppable we have capricorn meets taurus so there's a an incredibly strong drive to meet your your daily goals and desires for income for everything you value by nurturing the relationship 
the sun card is here it's how your person views you you are creating such a level of happiness um, when they see you when they think about you we have the spirit of wands the king of wands a double leo energy with this leo uh, energy of the strength card so your person views you as the one you are they need to make a commitment they need to step forward and make a full-blown decision your person sees you as the one the three of ones though excuse me the three of wands and the two of wands so your person in their heart space even though they haven't told you they've made a decision to choose you okay because in their heart spaces we go from the two of wands to the three of wands the Four of Wands is what they want. It's clarified. So we have the two, three, four lined up in a row in the reading. But the Ten of Swords says that your person has a fear of commitment. And that fear of commitment is keeping them in this energy of the King of Swords. So you, now you have a double divine partner in this relationship okay and i'm going to point out something else too very powerful that both of you are very intellectual you both have air sign planets most likely and that you're both very grounded and you know what you want you both know how to get what you want and then i have to say with the infinity symbol with the leo energy here you know when we get all that leo energy um, and then the Spirit of Wands, which is the King of Wands twice. Both of you have this fiery, prideful, you know, energy to come in and contain this relationship to make one another each a part of your family. Why do we have the Fool card here? Spirit is saying that your person wants to hold on to you. They want a new beginning with you, but it's almost like because they don't want to lose you, which is not really what we want to hear. The Judgment card is for them to give up any expectations and to make the commitment. Look at that Hierophant energy, Taurus energy. You have Taurus energy all over the place. There's a fair amount of fear between the two of you, but I don't see it as anything bad. I think it's reasonable because when we've been through bad marriages or a bad circumstance, you know, if you walk away feeling like, well, gee, I'd like to try that again, you know, there has to be something wrong with that attitude of just easy come easy go but I don't see both of you I feel I feel your person is very much in a fight within themselves to know exactly what they can do to bring this into alignment with this ten of coins long-term committed legacy marriage of abundance happiness and joy they love the sexuality the sexiness of it they love the fact that you make them think in a different way and they love throwing caution to the winds to be with you so your person is becoming courageous right now about making a commitment to you when we get the king of wands energy clarified by the chariot honey i'm home i love it it's so good it's eight of wands let's make love tonight let's just you know order in and make love all night long the four of swords says that you've already healed the relationship that that work does not need to be done and is not happening right now the four of swords says that you may have some old wounds to look at but it doesn't seem overwhelming Tell us why the Four of Swords came up reverse, the death card. Okay, so basically what I see both of you doing is remembering the things that were that caused the end of a significant relationship or marriage in the past. And both of you have healed from that. You're not suffering from it anymore. But what I see is that what's hidden is that you're both very much conscious and aware that you have to transform your skill set in long-term commitment to have the joy and happiness that you want to fulfill the sun, the strength, the strength, the sun, and the king of wands energy. So let's see, why do we have, spirit is telling you to ignore the fact that you're twin flames. Spirit is saying, you know, don't get caught up in that because if anything is negative, you, it's not your time for, uh, you know, divine partnership. So spirit is telling us something valuable, hermit card. So spirit is saying, take time. Take time out for yourself where you really assess what you want. You, the Hermit card is Virgo energy. It's about problem solving. It's about looking within to see what culpability or responsibility that you've had in your life 
in past relationships and what you can do differently. And that at that point that you've done that, if you've done the work, that you can move forward into this lovely twin flame energy. It's here waiting for you, but spirit is urging you to do your individual work. So when we look at the Wheel of Fortune, with the Ace of Cups waiting for the timing to be right, your person looks like they're going to start a new beginning uh, when they feel the timing is right. The Ace of Cups is a new beginning in love. Temperance card looks like this is a person from the past. <gasps> Ooh, the best card. Oh, you, you're, the two of you are manifesting each other by talking things through, by being very intellectual and very playful and very Gemini, taunting, teasing, but using the brain of the problem-solving skills that Virgo brings to the table, you have all the tools to have a divine love, a divine partnership. It's here. You're really in a great place to have this Scorpio. So I am going to ask you to leave a comment below. Tell me where you're from. I'm from Chicago. Send me your love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. And tell me where you're at in this journey. It's very interesting. Scorpio has had an interesting year, two years here. So let me know. Thanks so much. Hope to see you again in another video. Bye-bye.